I just want to show you something here on waterfront that I've been talking about for a while and there's some debate about it. But when you see this, you're going to see that there's really not much debate. So it's, it's May, the water's starting to warm up. And um, for a long time, I've been advocating not using fertilizer on lawns and not using fertilizer anywhere near the lake because um, nutrients in the water create um, excessive weed growth, aquatic weed growth. So I just want to show you something here. So this is uh, May, and um, due to fertilizers, this is what we have. Um, this is uh, all algae here, and um, you can see the algae comes right up on the shore, and it's really slimy and stuff and everything. Um, but this is this is all along my shoreline here, and the thing that really troubles me is that this is on the surface, of course, and it's terrible. It's just awful. It's all the way out to the drop off, but it's not just on the surface. If you can see, it goes all the way down to the bottom. It's on the bottom and it's even suspended. See how it's suspended? So it's, it's, it's uh, actually from the bottom of the lake all the way to the surface, it's suspended algae. And it's just all along the whole shoreline. It's just horrible. Um, where this really comes into play is that this becomes unrecreationable, if I could use that term. You can't swim in it. I can't fish in it. I don't know what to say. Um, this is becoming a, an issue enough to where we really got to pay attention because now it's starting to really come home to roost.